We're going to look at editing the guitar tracks and playlist view in this video. So let's start with a quick little refresher. We can create a new empty playlist from this selector. We can go new. And we can also use the keyboard shortcut control with the backslash key. And that'll call up a selector to name and create a new playlist. I'll hit cancel for now. We can duplicate from the playlist selector like we just saw under there. And we can also use command control with the backslash key and that calls up the same dialog box but for a duplicated playlist and we can option click and do that for the full session so if i'm holding down option command control with the backslash key you just see i created a new playlist for the entire session which is interesting to do if you want to try an alternate arrangement on everything i'm going to hit undo and we'll revert back to our default playlists now we can assign playlists to another track let me actually do that, what I just did again, and there we have additional playlists. So when I click on the drop-down, we'll see that we can assign not only the playlists for this track, but other playlists from other tracks. And this is interesting on audio tracks to try out clips on different tracks with different processing to see what they sound like, a quick way of auditioning different plugins. And on MIDI tracks, it's great too to try out different parts on different sounds, or maybe you have them doubled on different sounds. I'm going to hit undo now and revert back to our default playlist view. And we can double click to rename both the track and the playlist at the same time if we want. And we can delete playlists, again, from the selector here, and delete unused, or we can right click right on the name there and go delete, and it'll delete that playlist. All right, so let's look at editing these guitar takes. Now, we use playlist view to select the best parts from the track's alternate playlist and copy them to the main playlist. You'll recall that when we did our loop recording, we had a preference checked to automatically create playlists in loop record view. And that's one way of using these alternate playlists. The other way is to just do a take and then create a new playlist, do another take, then create a new playlist, do another take if you're not loop recording. But in any case, to do this, we need to go to playlist view. So we can get to that from the view selector here. And because we're in a small view, we need to click over there and we can go track view playlists. And now it'll expand and reveal all the playlists. I'm going to hide the transport for the moment. Notice that I have it in loop playback view. We're going to get to using that in a few moments. So now we can see all the playlists and not all the lanes have takes on them because we loop recorded the first few bars. Let me zoom a little bit. And you can see we loop recorded the second section there on the next playlist lanes. So we have all those playlists available. And we can also hide or reveal these playlists by command control clicking right on the selector. And that's control start clicking on Windows. And that'll toggle between waveform view and playlist view and hide or reveal all the playlists. And now the fun part, we need to audition the different lanes. So I'm going to set the loop cycle over here for four bars. And I've disabled my link edit and timeline selection because I just want that to remain. And I want to edit freely underneath. And basically, we need to solo one lane at a time and listen. Okay, so that's the first four bars. Now, a couple of nice shortcuts for navigating like this rather than using the mouse, and you can fly with this. What you can do is use Shift S to toggle the solo status of each lane for the lane that has the edit cursor in it. So let's say I place my cursor there. I can use Shift S. And then if you'll recall from one of the previous videos, we can easily use the key command P to move the edit cursor up and then solo that lane or disable the solo. And P will move the edit cursor up and semicolon moves it down so we can really navigate quickly. So shift S, P, and semicolon, those three commands are what you need. So let's create an edit selection now. So I would like the first two bars of this take. I'm going to do that. And now there's a couple of ways I can get this into my main playlist or new one. I can go under the edit menu here and I go down to copy selection to main playlist and there's a shortcut control option V. And I can also optionally create a new playlist with this new comp I want to put together or duplicate the current one and edit it. But I'm going to put it to my main playlist for now. So we see now that it's been promoted there. And now the next two bars, I liked this take over here. So let me select that range. And again, you don't have to do even bars. You can do whatever little bits you want. And another way to do it is that I can right click with the selector tool and I can go here 
copy selection to main playlist, copy selection to new playlist, or to duplicate, same commands, and I'll do it from there. And now it's put together there. Another way to do it is to click the copy to main playlist button, which is this button over here, and that'll promote it all the way up. So if I had, let's say, an edit selection here like that, that button becomes active, so I can just press that to promote it up. So let's listen to the next four bars now. I'm going to set my loop area over here for these four bars, and let's listen, and I'll use my key commands now. I'm going to take away my edit selection. I don't really need it, but let's cursor up using P, and now I'm going to go Shift S. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take two bars from here. Again, I'm just doing this to paint the broad strokes and show you. And this time I'll use the Promote button. And I'm going to take the last two bars from here. And I'll use the Promote button. And now, let's take that out of solo mode. Let's listen to our whole composite take. I'll take that from there all the way. I'm going to shift click here all the way till there. So there I got a nice composite take. Now a couple of other notes about working with playlists. You have an empty lane on the bottom. Let me scroll down here and I'm going to go through the rest on my own here and choose the best takes for this last bit, but I'll be using the same methods. But at the bottom we have an empty lane here and we can drag clips in from the clip list or from the DigiBase browsers and create new composite playlists from there, new playlists just by dragging in there and then they become available to work with. And we can resize lanes here the way we normally do. We can click between the lanes and get the little resize handle, and that'll resize them all through the stepwise sizes that are preset. We can, as normal, use control with the up or down arrows that start on windows, and we can do that to expand just the lane with the edit cursor. So for example, I have that lane there. I can go control up down to zoom that specific lane. You can control click between the lanes to resize the upper lane only. And we can right-click the vertical scale and select a preset, and this will affect all the lanes. If I right-click there, they'll all move like that. I'll put them back down to small. And we can control right-click on the vertical scale and select a preset size just for the single lane. So again, if I control click there and right-click, I can zoom just that specific lane, and I'll put it back down. And a word about working with the track list, you'll see here, I'll show it, we have all the different lanes available here. We can hide them. So you can hide specific lanes to filter them from view. And we can right-click there, and we can filter based on various criteria. We can show all lanes, only lanes within the current edit selection, which is great. So for example, like I was saying that at the beginning for the first four bars, we only have the first few lanes, or the first eight bars rather, the first few lanes are being used there. So now I can filter lanes and it'll filter out the other ones. So I can click hold there and go filter lanes, show only lanes with clips within the edit selection. So now it filters out the other ones. So great ways of managing big sessions. And they're fairly self-explanatory here. Show only lanes with outside the edit selection or based on a specific clip rating. Hide all lanes or hide only lanes with those same various criteria. And of course we have the matching alternate regions. We looked at that in another video. I'm not going to go through it again, but we can always switch playlists by that, by just, I'll toggle this back to our regular view by just using the shortcuts we know about, like right-clicking with the selector tool and using the matching alternates and setting the criteria and switching that way. So that's a little overview of some ways of working with playlists and multiple takes. See you for more in the next video.